Hello friends, so in this tutorial we will be solving the equation in Simulink. So the equation I will be solving or creating a model in Simulink is this one. y is equal to a square minus 3ab plus square root of b. So this equation I will try to create a model and get the result. So so this is the uh, MATLAB workbench and here we can find the Simulink workbench so I'll start this one so this is the Simulink start page so let's create a blank model first So till then it opens, I'll just explain this equation. We have two variables here, a and b, a and b, and two constant value as well. So two and three are constant values. So uh, this is because we need separate blocks for variables and separate blocks for constants. So. So this is the blank page of the Simulink workbench. So here we can find library browser. So I'll just click this library browser and here we can find all the blocks available in Simulink. So as I said we need constants as well as variables for this equation. So I'll first drag and open this constants in this workbench and similarly I'll drag variable input into it so I can get this variable input from either math operation I guess so in this So if we do not get this, we can simply search any block from the search column variable input and press enter. So I'll just put variables. So instead of the variable input we have another method from which we can solve this equation. So I'll just drag a square function from math operations. square root function and take it outside and I need a subtract as well so I'll collect it from and then I need a math function as well so I have these many now and finally I need a scope to display my result so and here we can find the display tab so this is what I'll be needing and I need a gain function as well so commonly used and here is the gain function so these six blocks I'll be using it to solve the equation
so I'm minimize this one and this is the first constant and we know we'll just put uh, or keep the value as one for default and later we can change this value by double clicking on this and we can put the values of the constants so I need another constant I'll just press control and drag this one and keep it below this one so in this math function we can double click this math function and here we can find different op operations there so we need a square function and press ok so there are different operations as well so for timing I'll use power function rather than square so it's the power because we need a to the power 2 so that is the reason why I have used power function over here and let's connect we can increase the size of this I'll just maximize this one we can increase the size of the each block by dragging like this way and I'll connect this one to here to the first constant and the second constant I'll connect it to the second terminal of the square function so I'll keep this one aside and I need now a subtract function so you can in the same way we can improve or increase the size of this block as well so I need another sign positive sign so here you can see there are three input terminals created so I'll connect the output of this function to the positive sign of here and I actually require another block so that block is the product function so here is the product block because of this one so 3 into a into b we need the product of this complete so for that so this value will be stored in that product block so here is the product block and I'll keep it below this one and connect this one to here and I'll connect this gain finally to connect the output of this to this gain and connect it finally to the negative sign so this is it and this square root function I'll be connecting it to the other positive sign here and behind it I'll be connecting it to this one so let's check this I actually need another constant value I'll drag this from here and connect it to this one and later I connect this one to here so three constants values because we have two three and square root function and it's all getting corrected so the constant values got connected and this the complete set or the output signal is here now I'll just connect it to the display unit so this is all connected now so this equation is complete you can press spacebar to maximize the view so this is a complete circuit of that equation so this is the equation we were working on y is equal to a square minus 3 a b plus square root of b so I'll just run this by clicking here
so it's ready and here you can find the output one so by default uh, values of constants were one so that is the reason why we got output as one so if we change the values of these so we can change it here so for our equation we had two and three as the constant so i'll put two here and press ok and three here and run this program once again so the value got updated so this is the value of y we were looking for value of y so it is so the value of y is 7 in this equation we can put we can check for any number of cases for example if you want 5 and if we want this another constant to change and press ok and run this once again so it's getting in imagining this value to getting this value so i'll just reduce this one and check output so this is the maximum we can go for a uh, value of a and b for real numbers so if we increase or if we put a value of b greater than a it the final value of y is not a real number so i'll increase this one and check the condition so it's getting c it's not a real number so this was about how we can solve the equations in simulink and uh, build the model of the equations in simulink and get the result this was about the tutorial thank you